What is the primary focus of the COSO framework? A. Risk management B. Financial reporting C. Human resources D. Product development. Answer. B. Financial reporting. Which of the following is an example of a key risk indicator? CRE. A. Employee turnover rate B. Customer satisfaction score C. Inventory turnover ratio D. Revenue growth rate. Answer. A. Employee turnover rate. What is the purpose of a compliance risk assessment? A. To evaluate product quality B. To assess adherence to regulation C. To monitor employee performance D. To measure customer loyalty. Answer. B. To assess adherence to regulations. What is the main goal of implementing segregation of duties, SOD, controls? A. Improving employee morale B. Preventing fraud and errors C. Increasing market share D. Enhancing customer service. Answer. B. Preventing fraud and errors. Which of the following is not a step in the risk management process? A. Risk acceptance B. Risk avoidance C. Risk elimination D. Risk outsourcing. Answer. D. Risk outsourcing. What is the purpose of a risk heat map? A. To track employee performance B. To visualize and prioritize risk C. To evaluate financial performance D. To develop marketing strategies. Answer. B. To visualize and prioritize risks. Which of the following is an example of an operational risk? A. Interest rate fluctuations B. Market competition C. Employee errors D. Technological advancements. Answer. C. Employee errors. What is the main goal of conducting a compliance audit? A. Assessing customer satisfaction B. Evaluating financial controls C. Ensuring adherence to regulations D. Monitoring employee productivity. Answer. C. Ensuring adherence to regulations. What is the purpose of a risk assessment matrix? A. To calculate employee salaries B. To identify training needs C. To prioritize risks based on likelihood and impact D. To track inventory levels. Answer. C. To prioritize risks based on likelihood and impact. Which of the following is not a characteristic of an effective compliance program? A. Clear policies and procedures B. Regular employee training C. Lack of oversight D. Strong leadership support. Answer. C. Lack of oversight. What is the main objective of regulatory compliance? A. Maximizing profits B. Enhancing customer satisfaction C. Avoiding legal penalties D. Increasing market share. Answer. C. Avoiding legal penalties. What does the G stand for in GRC? A. Governance B. Growth C. Guidance D. Generosity. Answer. A. Governance. What is the purpose of a risk management framework? A. To calculate financial ratios B. To document organizational goals C. To guide risk management activities D. To conduct employee evaluations. Answer. C. To guide risk management activities. Which of the following is an example of an external compliance requirement? A. Corporate policies B. Industry standards C. Government regulations D. Employee handbook. Answer. C. Government regulations. What is the purpose of a compliance risk register? A. To track employee attendance B. To document compliance related risk C. To manage customer complaints D. To conduct financial audits. Answer. B. To document compliance related risks. Thank you for watching Cyber Trainer. Like and subscribe.